What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am your host, Sinistrain01. Welcome back to another walkthrough. This time we are doing another Telltale game. We are playing Tales from Borderlands. That's right. Now, all of you may have seen my previous Borderlands 2 content or whatever, and remember that I only played it very, very little. Uh, I only played Borderlands 1 for about maybe 20 hours, but really that's not a lot if you think about it. And then Borderlands 2 I played uh, maybe for a total of 5 or 6 hours, which really isn't a lot either. Um, um, I wasn't, you know, the best Borderlands player, but this is going to be a little different. Obviously, this is not your normal Borderlands game. This is more about um, Telltale's kind of way of doing it. So this is obviously point and click. Everything you've seen from The Walking Dead or the new Game of Thrones, you're going to get in this. There's going to be a lot more comical things happening in this, of course, and I think it's going to be a great story. I've seen some reviews on the game, and people just absolutely love it, and I can't wait to start this series. And, uh... Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy so again don't forget to comment rate, subscribe for some more PC awesomeness So I'm, I'm finally uh, starting to become uh, part of the PC master race So I'm gonna lean back here a little bit and I'm gonna get ready to play some tales from the borderlands Let's do it So hopefully everything works out. Okay, because I'm actually streaming this live from GeForce experience from uh, Shadowplay, and I'm recording it through Action, which Action is a great software. Uh, it's kind of like Fraps, but it also live streams as well. So you can live stream on Action, you can record on Action, you can do desktop, gaming, OpenGL, I mean, anything. You, I mean, Action is a great software to use. I found that um, Shadowplay is not very good when it comes to the quality of voice. Um, as the voice is kind of grainy for some reason, even though as you can um, you can probably hear that right now because this is being recorded through Shadowplay, so the voice is going to be a little grainy, but uh, the voice will not be grainy uh, in the actual video because I'm recording this through action that you're going to see on YouTube, which uh, that's going to be great as well. So ladies and gents, let's get into this. I've got my controller plugged in. Let's just make sure all the settings are set up the way that we want. Yep. I am ready to do this. I don't know about you guys. I've talked enough. It's go time. Episode 1 is Zero Sum. Let's do it. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out!
Yona? Well, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> So, who are you? I ask the questions. Okay, then, do you mind asking yourself who you are? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on Eid. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to finally be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm gonna be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. I wouldn't actually use it. It would be more for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mind deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, <laughs> Joe I Swanson. wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask.
You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. Well, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> it's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Okay, I gotta get used to these controls here. Uh. Yeah, 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 no, but... Do you want the money or not? Because I... It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it! Oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion. All oh, right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you I'm can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Fine. I've had to do worse in my career. 
That's the spirit, Reese. Nothing teaches you humility faster than scrubbing toilets. You're dismissed, Reese. Uh, we'll get you back, don't you worry. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bone. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water! And everyone can smell it! No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta... Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 <laughs> for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> he threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? Well, just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Askez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, right? whoa, hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends! Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. <laughs> but you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? You can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. 